Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over a 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandsLots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. When we left Jungle Jim Bradley, Shanghai Lil, and Kolo last week, they were hidden in the jungle close to Bhutan's camp. Kolo told them that Myra Trent, Peter Hawkins, and himself had been captured by the Tiger Claw killers and that all were still alive. Shanghai Lil then denounced Myra Trent as a spy. Meanwhile, within Bhutan's camp, the wily leader of the Tiger's Claw Society was attempting to win the confidence of Peter Hawkins and Myra Trent. But Hawkins still thinks Jungle Jim is dead and defies Bhutan. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, and Kolo are still crouched in the jungle near Bhutan's camp, watching the strange white man whom they have seen peering into the windows of Bhutan's hut. There's no doubt about it in my mind, Lil. The man they call the tiger is Ronnie Hawkins. If that's true, then Bhutan is sitting on a keg of dynamite. If this tiger ever finds out that Bhutan is holding his own father prisoner, there's going to be fireworks. And that would be just the kind of a situation we could take advantage of, Lil. Jim, look. What? He's getting up and going over to the window again. That's right. And he's muttering something. Listen. The old one. If I could remember. But I can't. I can't. Hawkins is in that hut with Bhutan. It must be his father that Ronnie is talking about. Oh, shh, Jim. He's coming back to the log to sit down. He's too near for us to talk. Ronnie. Ronnie. Who oh, is Ronnie? It's all a blank. I, I can't remember. I've seen the old man somewhere. I know I have. Oh, if the truth would only come to him. He looks as if he'd kill Bhutan in a minute. Well, there's no doubt about that, Lil. Maybe it will come to me. Well, now I have to find that slave, Koyu. The boss said to take men out and find him. Did you hear that, Jim? Yes. And that's our cue to be getting away, Lil. Look, he's starting around the hut. Good. Come on. Let's get back into the jungle, Lil, where we can talk. Careful, Colo. No noise. Me no make noise, Tuan Jim. Jim, I think that now's the time for me to leave you. You hide out and Colo and I will go into the cave. No, wait, Lil. I've got a better plan. Well, we decided I on... know, but I've been thinking it over, Lil. Now, evidently, Bhutan isn't much disturbed about the plane he heard overhead. There's not much activity in this camp. And from what we've heard, it seems he's more disturbed about Kolu's being away. So what? Just this. We'll send Kolu back into the camp now before they start looking for him. We know that Bhutan won't hurt him, especially if he comes back by himself. I don't see what it will get us. Well, I'm not sure myself, but I've got an idea. Kolu, were you under guard or tied up at night? No, Twan. Have hut with two men. They say, me leave camp, me be killed. Good. That's what I thought. You see, Lil, Bhutan is pretty sure of himself. He thinks that it's practically impossible for anyone to leave this territory. He's probably got all the natives for miles around scared to death. Yes, I found that out. Now, here's my plan. Kolo, you go back into camp. Keep your eyes and ears open. Find out anything you can. And then tonight, sneak back here 
Me understand, Swan Jim. Oh, but Jim, if I went into the I cab... I know what you're going to say, Lil. You could get the information right away. But how would you get it to me? This way, we can find out what's what before we make a move. Well, I'm game to try it. With the situation as it is, anything can happen. That's exactly my point, Lil. If we play a waiting game and keep ourselves informed, we'll be right on the spot to take advantage of anything that happens. Okay, Jim. Kolo, now here's what you do. Find out everything you can, and we'll be waiting for you tonight. And don't forget, keep your eye on that Trent thing. Me understand. Oh, I think you can forget Myra Trent. Yeah? If we do, we're liable to find ourselves in trouble. Oh, perhaps, Lil, but Kolo doesn't need to bother about her. The things I want to know are where Peter Hawkins is held prisoner, where the tiger's hut is, and where Myra Trent is held. Me find out, Swan uh, One more thing, Kolo. We ought to have a signal in case of danger. I've got it. Uh, Kolo, in case of danger to us, whistle like this. Oh, don't whistle like that, Jim. It's dangerous. No, Lil. There are hundreds of different kinds of birds in the jungle. Nobody will notice. Now, now do you understand everything, Kolo? Yes, it's one. Me make noise like this. Good. Now, when you go back into camp, they'll ask you where you've been. Well, now, you tell them that you were frightened by the airplane and ran into the jungle to hide. Yes, it's one. Me go now. And be careful. Mm, be careful. Me find out what you want now. All right, Kolo. And remember, we'll be waiting. Kolo, come back when it be dark. And don't forget the signal in case of danger. Meanwhile, inside the hut, Bhutan continues his talk with Peter Hawkins and Myra Trent. Bhutan, you'll not fool me with your smooth talk. You've got some dirty plan on foot. Mm, I'm sorry that you suspect me, Mr. Hawkins. Mm. It is true that my men captured you and Miss Trent in the past. And I have already apologized for any rough treatment you may have received. But why have you held us? Why did you have us tied hand and foot? Unfortunately, that was necessary, Miss Trent. I had to make sure that the two of you were not also spies, as was Jungle Jim Bradley. Oh, Tom, you lie. Jungle Jim Bradley came into Upper Burma to help me to find my son, Ronnie. Yes, that's true. He told me that when we first met. Jungle Jim deceived both of you. Yeah. It happened that your plans fitted very nicely with his, Mr. Hawkins. Oh, right. Your missing son was a blind for him. Jungle Jim Bradley was a member of the Chinese Secret Service. So you thought that, did you? I'm not easily deceived, ancient one. He resigned from the Chinese Secret Service to come to India with me to help me to find my son, Ronnie, and you know it. His real mission here was to spy on my movements. I'm sure you're wrong, Prince Bhutan. I wish that you were right, Miss Trent. If that had been true, Jungle Jim Bradley would have been alive today. If that's the reason you killed him, then you killed an innocent man. But I don't think that's why you killed him, Bhutan. You're a liar. I must warn you to control your tongue, ancient one. Please, Mr. Hawkins, perhaps if Prince Bhutan will let us go now. I... Get in there, you. The boss wants to see you. We will discuss your freedom later, Miss Trent. There seems to be other matters now. Here you are, Bhutan. Here's the slave you wanted to find. So, it is the man Kolo. Where did you find him? In his own hut, Bhutan. And you couldn't find him. <laughs> Silence, beggar. Go outside and wait until I call you. I go, Bhutan. You continue your search for the plane now that you have found the prisoner. I go. <laughs> now, Kolo, suppose you tell me where you've been. Yes, sir. Me hear big bird. Me run in jungle. But, Kulu, you've been in aeroplane. Quiet, Miss Trent. It would be wise if you allowed me to question the prisoner, Mr. Hawkins. Now, where did you go, Kolo? Me sleep in hut. Bird make big noise. Me run in jungle. Bird go away, me come back. Hmm. You were very wise to come back. If you try to escape, you will be killed. Do you understand? Yes, sir, master. Hmm, that is all. Go back to your hut. Yes, sir. Me go. <laughs> you see, Mr. Hawkins, the man you thought had escaped and would bring the British authorities has returned. I don't understand. 
Why should Colo come back? Because he knows it is futile to oppose my wishes, Miss Trent. He came back to be with us. That's why, Bouton. Colo was faithful to Jungle Jim Bradley. It is a quality of the melee races. He will also be faithful to me, his new master. Master, master. What is the meaning of this intrusion, the Harak? Master, a wrecked airplane has been found. What's that? A wrecked plane? Where is it? To the west, master. There is no one in it. So, the British Army plane crashed in the Tiger's Claw territory. <laughs> Good. That means that those in it will never return to civilization. The Harak, have the jungle searched? Bring any white man you find. Yes, master. And if they offer resistance, kill them. Yes, master. <laughs> You'll never get away with it, Bhutan. Mm. His Majesty's forces will search for that missing plane. Perhaps. But they will find nothing, Mr. Hawkins. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In the jungle where they are hiding, Jim Bradley and Shanghai Lil plan their next move. It's beginning to get dark, Jim. Yes, Lil. We should hear from Kolo soon. I hope so. I want to get going. I'm tired of waiting here in the jungle. But, Lil, it's the best plan. Mm. If we find out that Peter Hawkins and Myra Trent are safe, our watchful waiting policy is best. Perhaps. I see you're still thinking of that Trent thing. Lil, you're wrong about her. I've been thinking it over. The fact that she talked with Bhutan and Mandalay and was at the scene of the massacre and is here now, well, I'm sure those facts are just a set of circumstances. So the queen can do no wrong. You're pretty well gone on this, Myra Trent, aren't you, Jim? Listen, Lil, you know better than that. I know you're being a fool, Jim. That dame's got you twisted around her finger, and I'm not going to let her get away with it. What do you mean? Just this. As far as I'm concerned, she's guilty until she proves herself innocent. And that's the report I'm going to turn back to Colonel Scott. Lil, you're not being fair about Myra Trent. Oh, no? Well, there's plenty of evidence against that dame, and you know it. But you're not sure of your facts. What do you mean, I'm not sure? I saw her talking with Bhutan with my own eyes in Mandalay. I know that she was alone at the scene of the ambush. But how did she get there? Well, uh... You want me to believe that she walked some 300 miles through the jungle alone to get here. <laughs> oh, Jim, come to your senses. Well, Lil, I'll admit there are some things that need explaining. I'll say there are. Her actions, all of them, need plenty of explaining. Nevertheless, I'm sure that she'll be able to explain. She'd better be able to. That's all I've got to say. All right, Lil, we'll leave it that way. And wait until we hear Myra Trent's side of the story. Now, let's get started toward Bhutan's camp. We don't want to miss Kolo. Come on. Lil, I'm going to have Kolo steal me some native garments tonight. What for? Well, with them on, I'll be less likely to attract attention. But that isn't my only reason. What else are you thinking about? You. Oh. If I wore native garb, I could sneak into Bhutan's camp at night. Then after you get there, I could check up and make sure that you're safe. Hmm, and call on your girlfriend, Myra, at the same time. Go ahead, take the chance if you want to. Now, Lil, you know that it's a good plan. Jim, did you hear that? Yes, listen. Lil, something's happened. That's the danger signal. The danger signal. What has happened in Bhutan's camp? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Katzenyama Kid, Giggs and Maggie, Toots and Casper, Barney Google, The Little King, Flash Gordon, Skippy on the famous page, Gags and Gals. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.